What is going on my Super Sandwiches? Rhymestall here and today I bring some more Dragon Ball Fusions for the 3DS and the first thing we're going to do before we start hunting for more characters to recruit is Fuse. So I actually defused myself from Panich. he's actually over there somewhere on probably second page or something. So what we're going to do today is I am going to fuse with a god. No, not Beerus, I'm talking about Champa, the other god. And it's funny because this is my second attempt at um, recording this because my computer filled up on space while I, as I was in the middle of it. And uh, I had to restart the entire first half of the video the first time I did it. So here we go. We we're fusing with beers. The funny thing is, is when I fuse, he looks exactly the same as freaking, uh, did I say Beerus? I meant Champa. He looks exactly the same as the fusion with Beerus that I did a couple videos ago. So surprise, surprise. I don't even know why I'm surprised at that. So there we go. Let's go ahead and grab the first two moves. We'll do Limit Breaker, uh, bring that over. Like that, and then we'll also bring over um, Hyper Galagon, is that what it was? Yes, Hyper Galagon. Uh, I was going to add a second move to him, but I don't think I'm going to because I'm going to actually defuse him after I'm done with the video, and I don't want to have to go through the hassle of just saving all the moves and all that stuff, yada, 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 yada. So I'll do that later. For now, we'll just focus on the hunts. And of course, the target today is none other than Vados and Champa himself. Well, we already have Champa. All we need is bottles, so we'll, we'll do that. But before we go out, we need to have uh, some fresh gear, because the one thing that's always annoying is, is when you fuse, you reset your default gear, which is cool, because you know we got the Champa pants, but I hate this basic armor. So what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go all the way down here and grab the Vegeta Bow suit, because this looks super clean. Look how clean this looks. This is so clean. Let's make it cleaner. We'll go ahead and choose. How about this one? So we get the little the black background, the purple armor. This is a good look. Let's actually choose purple pants. Can we do that? How how do they look? Uh, that's way too purple. I'll stick to just the default, I guess. Yeah, I'll stick to default. Default's fine. Yeah. Or how about red? Uh, this looks. Nah, I'll stick to default. Default's fine. There we go. This is this is the look. This is gonna be our god. So in the comment section below, the first thing I want you guys to do is come up with an, with a creative name for Rhymehan and Champa. Champan, Rhymepa, I don't care. Come up with some creative names. Comment it down below, and I'll actually pin my favorites to this video. So while we're doing that. Let's prepare to hunt for Vados. We need Vados next. So to also uh, uh, to save time, I went ahead and uh, opened up a G rank portal or rift. So we're gonna go ahead and just jump in through. Uh, let's say two rifts, unless I get Vados in the first rift, in which case success. If we don't, well, well that sucks. Um, let's see. Do we have all three on the map? We do. So we're gonna go ahead and charge it up again to save the rifts. All you have to do is open an S rank, A rank, or G rank rift. Fly back to the ship and save, and then every time you come back out, until you basically beat it, it's going to be there, so you can give yourself unlimited tries to get whatever character you're trying to recruit. If you're new to the game, it's going to keep you from driving yourself insane. Trust me, it's a great tactic. Also, on the screen right now, you see a code for 3DS um, Dragon Ball Fusion. It's a one-time use code. Whoever gets it, gets it. Oh, look at that! Vados and Shampa on the very first... This is this is funny. I was meant to fail the first one. Oh, God. Oh, God. crap. I was meant to fail the first time, it's actually funny. It's funny that we got uh, them on, this, on the first try. So what we're going to do first is, uh, I got to be careful with this because I don't want to kill her off. So instead what we'll do is, is we'll attack, let's attack R Rotorito. Um, actually, let's do, yeah, what did what, what I choose? I did Key Blast, okay. You know what, here's what we'll do. We'll hit Rotorito, which is this guy right here, Rotorito, into Vado. So we'll do that. Bam. And then it's, this is actually going to kill him, I think, between uh, Weirdus and... It, it might kill him. Yeah. See, it's dangerous to do attacks. A big tip, if you're hunting for specific characters, try not to use attacks to target that character. Just try to hit him in between. In this situation, what we're going to do is, is we're going to go ahead and... Let's, let's go after Shampa. We'll do... Actually, no, you know what? We're going to go after Rat uh, uh, Yeah, Ratarito. We'll, we'll do Ratarito. And we'll do... Can we get all three of these? Can we get... Uh, no, we cannot. Damn. It's like very, very close. Oh, it's not gonna work. Can we get this guy? We can get this guy. So right now we're targeting our Rotorito, which is going to kill him. And we got Vados as well as this other guy who are going to be in front of the attack. So let's go ahead and blast all of them like that. There you go. Rotorito goes down. We want to get her damage. I mean, this is basically Pokemon. You want to get her damage, but don't kill her. Block! Look at that block! So clean! What better way to stop Shampa than to use the old warrior against him? Hito! And, uh, oh god, here she comes. Here he goes. She's gonna blast me. That looks so badass. It looks way better than freaking uh, Whis's attack. That's so cool. All right, so we'll do Key Blast. You know, the cool thing about using th these characters is I can use, let's see who's next. Uh, I can use these little beam ones to attack her as well as whoever else I'm going to take out next. So this is actually going to kill the other guy and it's going to drastically weaken her. Let's see, he is a, um, 
Okay, speed type, she's a speed type. Okay, so this is not gonna kill her, but it's gonna do quite a bit of damage. I think after this, I don't have to attack her anymore. I can just basically rely on a Zenkai attack next. So let's see what happens. Well, then again, it's pretty close. Let's see, I am... Mm, my main character has a top advantage, so I should not attack her anymore. You know what? I'm gonna put the faith on a Zenkai attack. I think I can do this. So the first thing we're gonna do is nothing, because I can't uh, have not. I don't have enough key. Let's just go for a melee attack. Let's go after Shampa. Yeah, we'll go after Shampa. Let's actually hit him away from the crowd, because I don't want to get an accident, accidental pinball attack that can do enough damage to potentially kill Vados. That happened to me so many times in this game. Also, by the way, if you do end up getting the code, feel free to let me know in the comment section below that you are the winner of it, or you managed to recruit it before anybody else. Because um, a lot of times people tend to, you know, leave codes and then not actually tell me they got them. Don't do, don't be one of those guys. Okay, so we're attacking her. This is going to kill both of them. This is great, perfect. Godlike Final Flash. There we go. Yeah, again, just want to remind, mention this again. It is a one-time use code. It is a one-time use code. I can't tell you how many times I've gotten comments in the past week saying, "Hey, I uh, tried to get the code, but it didn't work." It's like, yeah, it's because one-time use. Meaning, whoever gets it gets it. Um, I just want to kind of point that out. All right. Uh, we're closing in on. Hmm. Can we do another? Let's see. Can we do another attack on Vados? I think I should. I think I should. I, although I'm kind of scared to do. It. You know what? I, I, it's fine. I'll do it. Let's see what happens. Please don't kill it. Please don't kill it. Please. Oh, that was too close. That was way too close. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let this be a lesson to you. When you're potentially about to kill a character you're trying to recruit, do not attack them. <laughs> don't attack them. Just kind of wait. Wait it out. I'm glad she doesn't have regeneration because that would be really annoying. Oh my gosh. Just regenerating every single freaking time. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to use my Beerus. No, my Beerus. My Shampa. My Shampa uh, Rhymehan Fusion to try to recruit her. Yeah, let's try that. So I'll wait, I'll wait until I get that. So let's do... How many people we have left? Uh, let's do a key attack, because I don't want to don't want to accidentally kill her. 1,200. We'll do that against Ubok. There you go. And just in case... Just in case we get that knockback, I'm, I'm going to be super careful. Wow, the whole squad is going after him. Oh my gosh, he is dead. He is beyond dead. GG. Also, by the way, I still haven't figured out how to get the sound to properly capture from my 3DS to the computer, which is why I always have to basically replace it with whatever I'm using. It sucks, but this is the best way I can do it about now, so I, I apologize. All right, uh, wait for... Oh, gosh, she's going to attack again. Dude, if she does her beam attack, she could probably take out a lot of us easily with that attack. I feel like she's going to get a boost, too. Potentially, maybe. I don't really know. Uh, all right, it's almost time. I'll do a quick uh, key charge again. How much key do I have in my character? I have enough to do a uh, golly gun. It's great. All right, here we go. It is time. She's going after Weirs the whole time. It must be because she knows Weiss is in there. Okay, Zenkai attack time. Here we go. Here we go. Even if she blocks, she's going to die. Nope, she's dead. She is dead. All right, fingers crossed that we get the freaking scouts. Because it is possible to try to scout a character and still not get them. It is very much possible. By the way, in case you're new to this, the way scouts work is you want to match the rank that they are with the rank of the attack. I think she's a G-rank character. So we're going to use a G-rank hypergallic gun, which is my only option there. Let's see what happens. Oh my god, she's already dead. She is already dead. Let's see if we can get... Uh, let's see if we can recruit her. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn, it did a lot of damage. Oh my gosh. I still need to get Super Saiyan. If I unlock Super Saiyan, oh my gosh. The amount of damage. Oh, we got her. Yes. We got her. Oh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I didn't expect to get her that fast. So what I'm going to do here is I'll do one more round. Because um, I believe I should have an automatic S rift open after this. Let's see what attacks we got. We got no attacks. So here's, yeah, she's a G-Rank character. Time Rewind. Oh, okay. So Time Rewind is actually her move. I was wondering why Whis characters or Whis fusions can't use that move. It's because it's her move. That's why. And then she has uh, Prelude to Destruction, the arranged version. It's interesting. All right, so we got her. This is awesome. And we got the freaking Vados outfit, uh, which is basically Whis's outfit. So what we're going to do first is, before we end this, we're going to go ahead and do one more Rift, uh, because we have an S rank Rift open automatically. Let's see where it's at. Where are the orbs? There's one, there's two. All right, here we go. Let's see what we get. I have no idea what kind of S rank characters are in this Rift, but I guess we'll find out what pops up. If we get a fusion character, then we'll just basically kill them really, really fast. Um, but might as well do it. Might as well do it. Here we go. Jumping in here. And by the way, if you're enjoying these videos, 9001, as always, is the like goal for these videos. If we get 9001, awesome! If not, well, at least we tried. That's going to be the mentality we're going to go into. And look at that. We got Kid Goku, who I already have. Right? I have everybody. Okay, so I got that, I got that entire squad right there. Okay, well, well, we'll just devastate him real fast. Let's do a... I feel like I should have gone and picked up um, Vados from the ship. But whatever. Um, that would take way too much time, so I'd rather just do that next time. In fact, 
In the comment section below, I want you guys to also comment which characters you want me to show off in future videos for um, Dragon Ball Fusions. Because there's going to be a lot of this content coming out in the near future, especially when the game comes out um, in uh, Europe. Because I believe, this is just a theory, this is not a confirmation. I believe, oh look at that, we can get all four. I believe when the game drops in Europe, around the same time, we should get the online multiplayer patch. That is a theory. I'm just assuming that they were waiting for that. But it should be, well, did we just get the whole, oh, for a second I thought we got the whole knockout for the whole team. Um, but yeah, we should be getting the the online multiplayer patch sometime around then. And when that comes out, you better believe there's going to be a lot of content with a bunch of people. Because I feel like this game can be so much fun in the multiplayer aspect and the video as well with two players. So like Jade Antastic, um, and Takuba, Mikey J, everybody who plays this game on the channels, I cannot wait to do online battles with them. It's going to be so much fun. All right, so let's see what we got. Uh, did we get anything out of this match? Probably not. Um, I feel like I, just for the heck of it, I should open up an A-rank an a rift. Because, nah, it doesn't really matter because there's nothing really cool that's in A-rank, is there? I don't really know. I, I don't have everybody memorized of what they... Okay, let's just... Screw it. Let's just do it real fast. Because, I mean, worst case scenario, scenario, scenario I'll, do, I'll kill the entire team with one hit. So let's see what happens. All right. Plus, I also want to get another chance to use uh, my Shampa Rhymehan fusion before I defuse back into the Panish one. Although, I kind of like this look. I feel like I should stay in this godly form. I feel like this is a, a nice little fit for me. You know what? I'm going to stay in this form because I like it. I like it a lot. All right. So it, just as I expected, nobody cool. So let's do a melee attack. Uh, let's go after Sant. We'll knock her into the, the entire circle down there. And then we'll use uh, Vitus. Vitus to basically blast everybody. Based on how to get our range, it should be on one line, right? Oh, she got pushed. Oh, she got knocked out. That's why. Okay, I was about to say. I was like, what happened? Uh, let's do a key blast, and we'll go over here. Yeah, see, I should still get three people. Word of advice, if you have an uh, a character who attacks with these line beams, you always want to hit uh, the edge characters into each other because they almost always end up getting positioned in this, you know, position where you can just blast and just kind of get like three at once look at that they're like almost dead and of course I should you know what just for the heck of it let's do an ultra fusion why not why not go all out let's go all out fuse everybody look at that we got two gods this is the ultimate god of destruction fusion there we go and of course since I had Bardock he is from the sand side if I had a uh, hit like last time then you have an alien based fusion I like the fact that whatever character you use to initiate the fusion is how they um choose a design all right we're actually not we're actually wow okay okay pan pan's a warrior over here pan is just kidding she's not a warrior she's just getting destroyed right now all right so that's gonna be the end of this video again if you had fun make sure you leave a like right below 9001 is the goal we hit that awesome i hate latent power i hate this is why i hate latent power let me show you why watch this let me show you why this is why this is my, my least favorite ability to run into i mean it's cool it's kind of fair because this gives that person a, a, a chance again but if the map is tiny, what ends up happening is, is you get knocked out over and over again. Like, if the computer wanted to, they can just loop you over and over again, getting you knockouts every single time, and then it just resets you while they're just getting an instant recharge every single time. You know what? Let's get an instant kill here. This is going to be a massive kill. Headshot. There. We got the whole squad going in right now. Look at that. When the whole squad jumps into Rose. Look at that. Oh, my gosh. This is what happens. This is what happens when you choose latent power as your ability. You get destroyed like that. And you get knocked out. Look at that. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed. If you did, like I said, leave a like right below. 9001 is the goal. We hit that. Awesome. If not, well, we tried. And, of course, let me know which characters you want to see me show off in this game in the future videos as well. And also potential fusions you want me to show off as well. So comment that down below and all the good stuff. And, we'll, you know, we'll take it from there. But, as always, I hope you enjoyed the rest of your day. This has been Rhyme Style. I'm not going to save any of these moves because I have them already. I'm, I don't even know why I have them saved because I'm not going to use them. But uh, this is the end of the video. So I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the comment section below. Yeah.